This is a specimen of a thyroid gland and um, if you look at the scale here, you can see that the span of the gland is actually really quite, quite large, approaching 10 centimeters. So this is definitely an enlarged thyroid gland, which of course you know is called a goiter. The first thing that we want to do when we look at a thyroid gland that is abnormal is to decide whether this is a diffuse process involving the whole gland or is it a discrete um, process, for example, is it a localized nodule or is it a cavity or a cyst? Now looking at this entire gland, if I were to enlarge it and turn it, you can see that pretty much the whole gland is more or less uniformly involved. So this is a diffuse process. So what we have here is diffuse enlargement of the thyroid gland. Um, note that the color of the gland is a little bit darker than usual, at least in this region. So this is suggestive of a highly vascular state. And um, the commonest cause of a diffuse goiter, which is, has got a very dark brownish appearance, would be Graves' disease. So this is an example of Graves' disease. On microscopy, usually the gland uh, would have this very hyperplastic appearance because there's literally hyperplasia of the cells, so they sort of form infoldings into the lumen of the follicle. Um, the cells that you can see are actually a little bit more columnar than usual, and in the colloid, you see these rounded holes. This is called scalloping. And this is when the cells are actually actively absorbing back the colloid material in order to churn out the thyroid hormones. So this is a classical histologic appearance. And earlier we looked at the gross appearance of Graves' disease.